Hey, how you doing? Welcome to another episode of What the Heck Are We Doing at Minnesota Implement. This here is a faceplate for a snowplow. Uh, if you've seen our other videos and product line, you'll notice this is pretty well identical to the faceplate that we use on our snowplows. This is kind of a unique situation though. Um, what we've got is the client has an old pickup truck plow that he wants to convert for use on a skid steer. So the plow still is in real good shape and has plenty of life left in it, but uh, the truck that it was on died, uh, so he wants to put this onto a skid steer for use. So we do build these converter plates to do so. Um, I prefer to actually get the plow on location here when I build them because then I can make sure that everything fits and the geometry works out well. Sometimes it can be a nightmare to try to do these by dimensional drawings and pictures. In this particular case though, uh, the gentleman is a machinist by trade, so he does a real good job on uh, getting us the proper dimensions here so that we can uh, get this unit to fit or at least make uh, a real good effort at making it universal enough to fit. So what we've got is the lower mounts will go to the original lower mounts on the plow and then as you can see that's an A-frame style plow uh, with a nice heavy channel iron frame. So we made this cradle block to be welded to that uh, channel iron frame and because we don't know exactly how the height and the geometry is going to work out we uh, made this tower with multiple holes in there. So the trick is that uh, when you weld this up you got to make sure that our stop block here uh, doesn't hit the face plate so that it sits relaxed like it is now when it's fully up which will have the faceplate sitting at a little bit of a natural angle. And then getting, uh, tack it into place and test fit it to make sure that this toggle works properly as the faceplate comes forward. So that kick is our stop on this particular setup. So when it's at full stop, that tower should be just about straight up and down and the faceplate will lay forward. So, like I say, I would prefer to do these in my shop and weld it up completely because then I can guarantee the fit. But in this particular case, with the gentleman being a machinist and an engineer himself, uh, we'll send this kit out and he'll be able to do the rest of the fitting on it to make sure that it works. But as I've said in a few of my other videos, this is one of the advantages of us being a little bit smaller shop is we can take on some of these oddball custom projects. We're Minnesota Implement. Please feel free to check out our other videos and our products online. Thank you for watching.